tight match. It is Levi's game. Whippo versus Fofo will be the next one. Yeah. Fofo coming off of taking down, I want to say he took down Faker, did he not? Yeah, I yeah. think it was I think it was Faker. It was a really good obviously win for him. Well done on that one. Or no, it's got it was it was Doombie. He took yeah, down yeah, Doombie yeah. on his Aurelia. That minute. was really, yep. really nice. Aurelia yep. Rise, great matchup. Well played here. So we've got Soul Laners, right? Top versus mid. Gonna be exciting here, of course, as well. Only two LEC players left in the bracket. Ooh. Of course. Rank Rankar. This Ooh. is cool. This is actually really, really cool because I, I have felt like Whippo got really good pick advantage in both of his previous matchups. He had Orn into Rumble, and then I want to say, what was the second one? Something else absurd. It was it was Olaf and Decled. Oh, yeah. Decled, right? And he had the double combat sums against the no combat sums, basically. Yeah. And he smashed that. This one should be really interesting. Whippo has brought out Rangar a handful of times in competitive play. He is a very experienced Rangar player. There is a lot of brush to push around, including when you get that final Ring of Fire, you're going to have brush available. There is opportunities to, to really kind of just outplay the Aurelia. You have your Empowered W to actually remove the Aurelia stun potentially here too. This is going to be a very heavy fight. Does land the stun here. Pretty big damage and jumps back out to the minions and then goes right back in. Whippo, I think, ahead on that trade. and. Yeah, the W but, is yeah. always really something you have to take into account. And also when you get an Empowered Q, the Empowered Q plus the regular Q successively back to back does so much damage as anyone who has played against top lane Rengar will tell you. Yes. Uh, the burst is pretty shocking. So Fofo has to stay away from the wave. And you can see that Whippo is keeping the Frosty stacks up as long as he could. He wanted to make sure that he could threaten that burst if Fofo ever stepped forward to grab some of that farm. And you can see it's, you know, level or minions eight to one right now. Fofo is pushed off the wave. Can't quite win that battle right now. Curious to see what happens later on, because level six Rangar is, you know, not the most impactful ultimate. I wonder where he's going. Probably yeah. mid. <laughs> he's going for the back door. You, you get some damage out of it, right? Like, it's something, but I would take Vanguard's Edge every time. Definitely, and I think that's why Blifo is trying to play aggressively, oh. and also why Fofo is trying to play pretty defensively. The leap also really does surprise you, because you have a window after you've already left the brush to still actually jump. Yep. So it's you can actually close way more distance than you would think. You don't have to be right beside uh, that Whoa. rush. Stun and ignite on damage close. Who's going to take it? Fofo gets oh. the kill right in the back. That was really, really close there. It looked like Whipple was going to have it, but he used the empowered Q right as he got stunned. So he didn't actually have the ferocity to remove that stun right as he got hit. And it is Fofo going for the executioners here, trying to reduce a lot of that W healing. Uh, that Bobo is going to have. The Conquer also pretty effective, so sending it back to base. It is the 100 gold advantage for Fofo, uh, but I'm not sure exactly how the wave is looking. It looked pretty bad for Fofo. It's stacking up and pushing towards Bobo, so I think it's a yeah. bit more farm for the Rengar, and he not, had more farm coming in. Not too bad. They, they yeah. both have about the same amount of range minions. Okay. Bobo had one more, so I think, uh, if anything, should be pretty even. Oh, oh that's a nice big dodge. dodge. I like the idea of going for the ult, because I think Fofo was advantage there, and that ult could have been enough to get a kill. Here comes the small re engage. Not going to do too much, but it's still a health bar lead for Fofo, and Whippo's going to have to be on the back foot. Yeah, I think the Excusers was actually such a smart buy, because Rengar really can get a lot of healing off of that W uh, if you time it as well as you can. Whippo's looking for this, though. Gets the health relic, and they're going to go back for the this is the game right now, has to run away! Fofo needs that minion, he's not around! Oh, not oh. quite a for the leap, so close. Whippo almost got that kill. Yeah, that was a couple pixels away from being able to get that jump back out on Fofo and take him down. Whippo definitely going to win the all-in without ultimates available, you would have to expect. Fofo now back to base. We'll see what he does build towards with double Dorans, refillable, and executioners. Uh, he's just going tank, so he's actually going to grab a giant's belt here. Uh, Whippo like should it. be going towards Black Cleaver. He is. Yep. And the wave is, you know, sort of positive for Whippo in that the cannon's still alive, can still be farmed. Fofo lost that one. Uh, it's smart by Whippo to, under, to, to sort of recognize like the, the wave state. Uh! Unlucky. And will die, and unfortunately that is worth so much of the gold, but there's still going to be more minions for him to farm here, so he's going to be feeling pretty damn good about that. Yep. We'll see him at level 8 first, most likely here as well, as push around, and Bofo now hugging the far right side of the map. They're going to find another stun right here. Dig damage coming across there as the summoners are back up. Ignite's put down, and Whippo has to be a bit careful. Ulti's not up yet, but the damage could be enough! One Q would kill him! Oh. And Fofo limping away at 100 HP. Same for Whippo. Watch out for the leap. 
He's almost in Q range. Oh, that is so close. He has the ultimate. Do you dare go for it? Because you could get Q'd out of the air if you're ulting towards him and he spots you. Yeah. Charge W, Bwipo. let go Q, and it's yeah. enough damage, right? Yeah, Bwipo will reset. I think I think this is the smarter choice. You could even use the ult to try to take him down if he actually recalls. Yeah, so he's going to use the ult to just try to run straight back. He's got the health lead. Can like, he get the cannon? Uh, I don't know if he cares about the cannon. Like, he might legit charge the Aurelia. He knows. He's going to go! This could be the damage! All he needs, he gets away from the stun! And oh. Bwipo shuts him down! That was such a smart play! Yeah, he recalled. He didn't even wait for his health to fill back up. He just runs immediately back out of the map with the move speed from the ultimate. He got in range, finds him, and Bofo, I thought he he, thinks he expected a lot a lot longer for it to take, you know, for Bofo to get back to lane. Yeah. He thought he had way more time to be able to reset Bofo. Like, That's smart. Very pleased with himself. Big brain play here. That is, that is a big brain win. That's deserved. Yeah, and Bufo, here is the all-in again. This was that trade kill. Bufo did get it. It was extremely close. The last tick, tick of Ignite, it looked like taking down Bufo in that trade kill. And it was one of our only games that have actually ended two kills pre-Ring of Fire. So yeah. this was a pretty action-packed one. And remember, the Rengar ultimate gives him sight of that hunted target. So he's able to get on top of him. He yep. steps past the stun, has the empowered Q for the additional damage there. And this was just a really big brain play from Whippo. Just yeah. alt straight back to lane, knowing that he could have that timing. And even if you miss it, it's not that big of a cost because the ultimate is not a lot of in-combat power, right. truly. Yeah, I mean, it gives you some some ferocity for the push eventually, but uh, it, yeah, and like the, the upfront damage is there for a little, but you're right, again, not nearly as good. Uh, and, and to your point, I don't think Fofo saw it coming. Mm -hmm. uh, again, if, if you think you are going to get dove, you, you see the eyes of your head, you hold W, you take half damage when he finally lands on you, and then you hope you have enough to fight back afterwards. Mm -hmm. Obviously, again, wasn't the case there. Got jumped on, wasn't ready for it. Good sidestep by Bopo dodging the stun. We'll see him in semifinals tomorrow. Right now, though, Caps versus U.